Today we're gonna do it completely different. Come on, you guys. The zoo's luckily a little less crowded now. We got people everywhere, but check it out. Come on, this is gonna, I should call this microwave eggs, but I think I've already done it. I gotta, get, I gotta come over here and do it over here because it's too crowded. So this is an awesome clutch of ball pythons. And here's the cool part about this clutch of ball pythons. This snake's sister bred to the same exact, same exact breeding, just gonna hatch the eggs any minute, like tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna film the first part right now, and the good part is I'm gonna put it all together. You know why? Because you're gonna be like a baking show. So here's what we're gonna use. The ingredients are real simple. Okay, so here's the recipe. This is a Woma pastel, and, this, and now the cool part is we also use banana. You have to cut banana, any good baking product, right? We put banana and Mojave in it because we needed the heat from the Mojave. Anyway, just as a joke, we really did do it. And that's really the genes that are in it. And we're gonna pull this cool clutch and we're gonna go cut a clutch in it probably in a couple hours. But I wanted to get it done, get it out of the way. So this is what we're gonna actually microwave our eggs in, but we don't really use a microwave. We use this thing called an incubator. And we keep the incubator, like I said, 89 degrees. And uh, at 89 degrees, they'll take between 54 and 56 days, sometimes as high as 60. It depends if, you're if the temperature, you know. The thing that people don't realize is when you buy a th thermometer, they're not always exactly right. So you can be, your thermometer can be off one or two degrees. So if it's 90 and a half, 91, which is really pushing, it's kind of dangerous. That's why we use 89, just in case the thermometer's off. Using 89 and it's one degree hotter than it is, it's 90, and if it's 90.5, it's okay. If it's 80, if it's 87, if it ends up to be 87.5, it's okay. This here is a perlite. We mix it up a one-to-one -one ratio. I, this is like, I, I like it just slightly wetter than this, but it's okay. I don't mind starting the eggs a little bit dry. And so what we do is we go ahead and we take the eggs from this girl, and we're gonna place them in there. Now, you don't actually, because of the way this, she laid them really flat, I'm only gonna pull this one off. So she laid one infertile. Uh, JT, how many eggs? Oh, there's two infertiles. Two infertiles? Let's see here. Uh, two infertiles. So, well, actually we got one mini egg and, and one infertile. The mini egg may hatch a mini snake. <laughs> Literally a mini snake. So how many eggs is the other clutch, do you know? She had eight. The other clutch was eight? Mm -hmm. So we got eight, and the other clutch is eight eggs. So we got two, four, Six, eight perfect ones. We've got one small egg that, that very well might hatch. Now we want to put that low enough to where, now this is an infertile egg. The way, the way you can tell an infertile egg, you see how it's got a pointed end? Now the funny part is this snake, if I pull it, egg, pull it out, it has a little pointy end down there. But you see how it's white and this one's off color? That's how you can tell an infertile and a fertile. And here's the funny part, come look at this. Hopefully this doesn't work wrong. If you squeeze it, it actually turns to the white color that it was supposed to be. So you see? So that so that's really the same materials, just not expanded. See, watch, boom, kind of cool, right? Most people probably don't even know you can do that. <laughs> so anyway, so we got we got nine eggs here. Now let's go cut that other clutch, JT. Let's go get that other clutch. Hey, I just got bit by a ball python. There was two infertiles. I thought I saw two infertiles. She just uncovered it when she, man, it's like, she's like magic. Magic ball pythons. So we're gonna take, I'm gonna give JT that and he's gonna go put in the incubator and then we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get that other clutch. So let's go see what we got. Jeez, I'm telling you, that ball python is grumpy. I don't know you guys, I think I better stick to the retics. What do you think? Let's check these guys out. So we're gonna cut two clutches actually. And, uh, Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oliver, over this way. Oh look, iguana eggs. See? <laughs> Old label. So we got pastel, woma, banana, mojave. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, same thing. We also have these little four eggs. Man, what is this, banana spider? The funny part is, these guys are so close to hatching, I can literally feel their little bodies inside. I wish you could, I wish I, oh look, 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 look. You can actually see that's his back. Can you guys see it? Look at that, see, see, running, running, there's his back right there. See, that's his back right there. 
pushing around. So this guy, he's literally coiled this way. His head's right here. I can just feel, let's look, look right there. You can actually see him pushing against the side of the egg. That is cool. So he's not, I could cut these eggs right now and absolutely be okay, but I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till later today. But I thought, look at that. You can see his back right there. Good, healthy babies. I can feel them really healthy. Look at that. This one's coiled in a figure eight. So there's, one, he's going like this and he goes like this. You can just, you can almost see, look at that. Wow, that is so cool. I think that, I don't think I've ever in my life seen a snake that I could feel and better than this egg, these particular eggs. I don't know why. Just ready to come any minute. So the funny part is I learned, I found that if you, if you push them around a little bit, I think, wow, look at that. He is, boy, they are strong babies. I could just, they're less like in there going, and uh, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and let them sit, but I found that if you poke at them a little bit when you're getting close to hatching, sometimes when I really want to see a baby hatch, I'll go in and just go like that and then come back in a few hours and they hatch. So let's see if that happens today. You may have to come in tomorrow if they don't, uh, if they don't hatch today. Okay, here we go. Are you guys excited yet? I am. Okay, make sure you click the like down there and, and uh, you know, sh do, share the videos. Anywhere you can, we really appreciate it. But if you hit that like button a lot, it really helps us out. And uh, make a comment. Tell us what you think. You like the ball python clutch, the attack ball pythons, or you prefer the retail clutches? I'm the big snake guy, so what can I say? You know my answer. What's yours? Comment below. Okay. Okay. We're here. We're back. It's the next day. It's Sunday. It's no longer Saturday. Look, we're closed. There's nobody here. But you know what? You remember those eggs I said we were talking about that I was rubbing? Those little suckers. Didn't even wait for me to cut them. Every one of them cut. I told you if I would have rubbed them all, but you remember I didn't rub these enough. I should have played with these a little longer. These are the ones we want to cut, but here's the good news. They're exact, I can feel they're almost the same place the other ones were. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and cut them. It's super Sunday anyway. So we, we, we got a spider here, we got a lesser there, and, and we got a banana here, and now the question is, what kind of banana did we get? Did we get a good banana? <laughs> a yellow one or a brown one? <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm gonna actually just tear this one if I can get my finger started. I can see it's a banana. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we got a... A lesser in there? Lesser banana? That's a good question. What do you think? Mm, I think that's a really nice, yeah, that's a lesser. This definitely looks different to me. It ain't like the rest. So check it out, guys. So we got a lesser banana. We better give these a little bit more space because look at this one. Now, this guy here has got his head completely stuck. Remember I showed you yesterday how you could see the backbone? See, literally, you can see his back's right there. <laughs> it's pretty wild. His head's kind of caught in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this right here, and I'm going to peel it back, obviously. I can't hurt him because I'm pulling on the egg. A double thick area because he's got it rolled up. See, look at this. His head's all flat and stuck. Am I getting focused there? Man, there we go. Now he's not stuck. He can look at this. He pulled his head back in. Let's see what he is. God, he looks like a Mojave, but he, so it must be a lesser. Yep. yep, it's a lesser. Dark lessers. They look like more like almost like a Mojave. Exactly like That's, a Mojave. Yeah. These are like the darker, these are darker lessers. Lessers can come kind of dark. Now, didn't I see this one and this was a spider? You said it was a spider? Yep. The dad was a banana spider. Wow, my finger's so fat, my finger, and the, they're not very sharp. And there's a spider. See, there you can see the back pattern. And literally, you can see there's the back of the snake there, just like I was showing you yesterday. These eggs are really tight, they're kind of hard. Now, this is what we, the mother that laid in the beginning of this video, this is the instant instant gratification clutch. So check it out. So we're gonna cut these. These are these are gonna hatch probably tonight. I'm leaving out of town tomorrow, and I want to be part of this part of this movie. Boy, I like dull razor blades, but that's a dull one. Now this one is this one should make some stuff we've we've never made. And there, the first one is a morph we never made. That is a whole deal, isn't it? That's gotta be it. That's it. I'm almost positive, but we're not gonna be able to see him oh. really good. Oh, Looks there's like an, we hit two. There's two of them. Awesome. We got two. Two, you guys. It's Super Sunday. Super Sunday. Super duper Sunday. Oh, 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 oh. That one's got a few jeans in it, but it's no, no banana. 
But I'm gonna have JT grab a really killer banana we hatched. Looks like we got all the jeans again on there. Look at that, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yep, that's all four jeans. And, but, and banana? Yep. Whoo, so they're lining up really good. The good news is, I'm not gonna edit this video for a few days because I'm leaving out of town. So guess what we're gonna have? Whoa, what the heck, that looks like a Mojave. The dad was a Mojave. Oh, that's right. Banana Mojave. There you go. I thought I was imagining things for a minute. So we'll get you, so we're gonna get you a sweet update video of these. They'll be all out. JT, go grab that banana. Like promised. Right, JT? Oh Look yeah. Look what he went and grabbed us. Woo, baby. Some beautiful, beautiful snakes. Okay, guys, check it out. Look at that. We're calling these purple haze just for fun. And what they are is bananas, head albino, but man, they're different. One's a spider. And hey, by the way, check it out, you guys. Jay at Prehistoric Pets. 320K. Come on. Figure out how to get some YouTubers over there. Meanwhile, okay, well, we said, like I said earlier, we get we're able to let these guys get out and now it took a couple days but here's the cool part look at that banana it is cool now i like i said in the video they were not lessers i marked it in there they are just light mojaves and now they're even darker now they shed the other clutch would actually took an extra two days to come out so they haven't shed they're going to come clear and shed within the next couple days and they're awesome so Okay, let's check out. Let's end this in this video with a killer chameleon. How's that for a pretty chameleon? Tail out this video from the reptile zoo. Take care, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. Great week. Don't forget to tag a few friends. Hey, by the way, right below is the link to my Instagram, J at Prehistoric Pets. Take care. See you there.